All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyon at this hour. Now, pointing to a bigger boost to the India and Russia's defense ties, India could potentially become the first foreign buyer of Russia's most advanced S-500 anti-aircraft missile defense system. The Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov shared this information in his latest interview where he said that beyond a doubt, once we deliver this system to our own troops, India will be the first on the list if it were to express its desire to purchase these advanced armaments. And this has come as Russia has started the delivery of the S-400 Triumph air missile defense systems to India. Remember, Russian President Vladimir Putin was in India earlier this month. Putin held the 21st India-Russia annual summit with the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In the month of July, Russia's defense ministry had announced that it had successfully test-launched the S-500 air defense system. The S-500 Promete, that is also known as the Triumph Fatter M, is set to replace the S-400 Triumph surface-to-air missile system. And according to some reports, the S-500 is in fact one of the most capable missile defense systems that has been ever developed by any nation in the world. The S-500 anti-aircraft missile system is designed to strike all existing and future aerospace attack weapons at all altitudes. Now, Russia has in fact been training specialists to operate the S-500 since 2017 and this cutting edge piece of military hardware can intercept an array of aerial threats up to a range of almost about 600 kilometers in terms of altitude. Now, analysts came that it can even target satellites that are present in the low earth orbit. The S-400 deal has been a major annoyance in the India-US ties after the deal was signed. America threatened sanctions under the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. However, the United States has so far not made any conclusion on imposing cancer on India. The US federal law aims to counter aggressions by Russia, Iran and North Korea. Cooperation in the field of defense constitutes the most important feature of Indo-Russian bilateral ties. There are a number of other defense contracts that are already under implementation. India, remember, has been the largest importer of Russian arms. The two nations recently also inked the deal on supplying over half a million AK-203 assault rifles, which will be produced in India. All right, now to give us more updates in terms of this potential possible sale of the S-500 missile defense system, uh, we're joined in by our correspondent, Julia Chapman, who's joining us live from Moscow. Julia, thank you very much indeed for joining us on this broadcast. Now bring us up to speed with what the Russian Deputy Prime Minister actually said, where he said that if India were to express a desire to get the S-500 missile defense system, then Russia will have India on the top of the list for a foreign nation to, in fact, sell the weapons to. That's right. Uh, Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov was uh, answering a question from a journalist in an interview about whether India would be given priority when it came to selling this missile defense system to foreign buyers. Now, that is still a long way off. Several years uh, away is what we are expecting, uh, with the Russian military only using a pilot version of this technology as things stand. It's expected to have a full version, a fully functioning, developed version of the S-500 missile system by 2024 and experts estimate that foreign buyers could be making these deals shortly thereafter with deliveries expected no earlier than 2028. But yes, uh, Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov saying that India would likely be top of the list when it comes to uh, buyers for this missile defense system. And of course, that's very significant because it really does speak to a growing cooperation in the defense uh, world between India and Russia, despite Russia's quite close ties with China. Um, and of course, just in recent weeks, as you mentioned, uh, India has been receiving the first shipments of the previous generation of this uh, system, the S-400, which is not without its controversies. The countries that have bought this missile system uh, have been met with consternation from the United States, which believes it to be a threat 
to its own uh, security. Particularly controversial was, of course, the purchase by Turkey, a NATO member, which plowed ahead uh, with this uh, transaction with Russia despite uh, threats from the United States to implement sanctions. Whether India will come under similar sanctions is not yet clear. It hasn't been expressed by the United States, but the uh, potential intention to buy uh, the next generation of this technology when it does become available could certainly uh, form a wedge between uh, India and the United States going forward. Absolutely indeed. It's a very complex play of how diplomacy in fact works. The fact of the matter is the S-500 missile defense system was tested by the Russians in the month of July earlier this year. Uh, and also the recent visit of Vladimir Putin to India where Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Putin met for the 21st Indo-Russia summit. India is of course playing a very um, thin game of diplomacy here where Russia happens to be a close friend of India. The United States also is trying to of course uh, court India in, in many of its diplomatic ventures. India is now a part of the Quad as well. But the fact that the Russian Deputy Prime Minister has expressed his intention that in case India were to express its desire, India will be on top of the list for the sale of what is, at this moment of time, the most advanced cutting-edge anti-missile defense system. This points to a very strong defense relationship between India and Moscow. It certainly does, and I think uh, President Putin's visit to India last week really underscores that as well. It was only his second foreign visit this year. The first, of course, was to Geneva to meet Joe Biden for their first bilateral summit. Um, so President Putin hasn't been doing very much traveling in the pandemic. He's been very cautious uh, with regards to foreign travel. But the fact that he skipped the G20, skipped the uh, climate summit, uh, COP26 in Glasgow, and then traveled to New Delhi to meet uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi in person does certainly speak to the growing role that India is playing in Russia's foreign policy, uh, which of course is a very interesting uh, political balance, not least uh, for India, balancing the interests of its relationships with uh, the United States and Russia, but also for Russia developing uh, a balance between India and China, of course adversaries in their own right, uh, with Russia a very close partner of China. So certainly the fact that uh, this defense, uh, this, th well, the defense cooperation that was already uh, extended and signed uh, between the two leaders uh, in New Delhi last week and the suggestion that this could be going on for many more years if the purchase of the S-500 system does indeed go ahead uh, in the coming years certainly speaks to a growing relationship in the defense sphere between Russia and India and I think also of the growing importance of India in Russia's foreign policy. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Julia Chapman, for joining us from Moscow and getting us all those updates then. So this, this of course, will be a cutting-edge bit of technology that Russia has expressed its interest, stating that if India were to express its interest in purchasing the S-500 defense missile system, then Russia will have India on top of the list. Remember, this, this is, of course, a missile system that can take down an attack from space. That, that's how advanced this anti-missile defense system is. And Vyond Siddhan Sibyl has in fact been tracking the story very closely for us and he sent us this report. Take a look. In a major development, uh, the Russians have said that India could be the first buyer of uh, the S-500 missile defense system, uh, the air defense system. In fact, uh, uh, this is something which is latest uh, advanced technology when it comes to the Russian air defense missile system. India, of course, is already getting the S-400 air defense uh, system. This was uh, a pact signed uh, in the year 2018. Largely, if we look at uh, uh, what can happen, the geopolitics of this uh, entire development, uh, we know that uh, the Russians uh, uh, and the Indians having defense cooperation, something that hasn't gone down well with Washington. And uh, the big question as of now is that will CATSA sanctions come into effect if India uh, buys uh, uh, the S-500 air defense system? With video journalist Kapil Sidan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.